Master the Kitchen. Describing cooking techniques and methods in English. Hello, language learners. Are you ready to stir, simmer, and saute your way through English? Today, we are going to cook up some delicious new vocabulary. We're focusing on describing cooking techniques and methods in English. Whether you're a master chef or a newbie in the kitchen, these terms will help make your English more flavorful and varied. So, let's get cooking. First, let's start by looking at some common cooking methods. 1. Boiling. When we heat a liquid until it reaches its highest temperature and bubbles start to break the surface, we say we're boiling it. You might boil water for pasta, for example. 2. Steaming. This is a method where food is cooked above boiling water. The steam rises and cooks the food. It's a common method for vegetables and dumplings. 3. Baking. This method uses the dry heat of an oven to cook food. You bake things like bread, cakes, and casseroles. 4. Grilling. Grilling involves cooking food on a grill over direct heat. It's often used for meats, vegetables, and even some fruits. 5. Roasting. Similar to baking, roasting also uses the dry heat of an oven. However, we often use the term roasting more for meat and vegetables. 6. Frying. When we cook food in hot oil or fat, it's called frying. There are variations like deep frying, pan frying, and stir frying. Now that we've covered the basics, let's look at some techniques you might use while preparing a meal. 1. Chopping. This means cutting food into small pieces. You might chop vegetables for a salad or onions for a sauce. 2. Stirring. This involves mixing ingredients together with a spoon or other utensil. Stirring helps combine flavors and prevent food from sticking to the pan. 3. Sautéing. This is a quick, high heat cooking method that involves cooking food quickly in a small amount of fat or oil. 4. Seasoning. Adding spices, herbs, or other flavors to your food is called seasoning. It's how we make our food delicious and unique. 5. Simmering. When you bring a liquid to just below boiling point and keep it there, it's called simmering. This method is often used for soups and stews. 6. Marinating. When you soak food, usually meat, in a mixture of spices and liquids to add flavor, this is called marinating. We hope this journey through the culinary vocabulary has been as exciting as trying out a new recipe. Remember, just like in the kitchen, practice makes perfect. Use these words and phrases when you talk about cooking and food in English. They will not only make your conversation more interesting but will also help you understand recipes and cooking shows better. Until our next delicious discussion, keep practicing and happy cooking.